deeper deficits and a delayed surplus. That's the formula adopted by South Australian Treasurer Jack Snelling as he prepares to deliver his second budget today. State political reporter Nick Harmson has more. Faced with his second budget emergency in as many years, the Treasurer is striding out on his own, cutting ties with Mike Rand's legacy. We don't have hundreds of millions of dollars to splash around. What we've done is prioritise our spending in key areas. On Budget Eve, Jack Snelling has pointedly taken the knife to two of the former Premier's pet projects, the Thinkers in Residence program and the Integrated Design Commission. Mr Rand declined to comment on the decision, but in an online video posted last month, he spoke at length about the benefits of bringing in outside advice. The Thinkers in Residence program has helped us reclaim that leadership that we had in the past, but we lost. Now, under new leadership, the program itself will be lost next year. These are the decisions I've had to take, given the circumstances I find myself in, in terms of uh, the budget. It saved me the bother because both those programs that have been announced today were programs that I saw as being wasteful of public money. Jay Wetherill and his colleagues have long argued the Thinkers in Residence program was good value, delivering millions of dollars in ideas and investments. But he denies its axing is short-sighted or an attempt to distance himself from his predecessor. No, because it's completed its work. I mean, there's almost no field of endeavour that it hasn't touched. Where are we going to get our ideas from? Well, well, obviously, we'll continue generating ideas. The government's top designer will only be paid for his ideas for a further six months. What I'm hearing from industry is a very strong, strong sense of disappointment and a strong sense of commitment to making something work so that we don't lose what we've started. Government ministers are preparing to lose one of the perks of office, access to a corporate box at the entertainment centre. But emergency service agencies will be amongst the few budget winners, with $8 million for new facilities and equipment. Nick Harmson reporting there. He'll be chatting to us later in the program to give a further detailed analysis of what South Australians can expect in that budget today.